And Dar of Yay say, wherever I leave the house, and on whatever thing my eyes fall on, Sabr. Allah Ta'ala say, Wallahu yuhibbu al-sabirin. Allah Ta'ala asleep for that in Kina. School governing body of South Coast Madrasa. Absaruha Fatima. Wasallimu taslima hatta tanalu jannatan wa na'ima. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima hatta. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I am AK Kurtha your host Welcome to ITV We come into you from the beautiful Masjid Abu Bakr Siddiq situated in Erasmia in Pretoria My guests for this particular show we have close on to six or seven sheikhs and imams and amongst all this very learned people. We also have one sister, Sister Rahima Mariam. Uh, all our guests come from Uganda. And uh, during the past month, Ramadan, we had close on to 42 uh, sheikhs and imams and representatives of different organizations from Uganda uh, crisscrossing the breadth and the width of our beautiful country on a collection drive for the different centers, masjids and schools and organizations all situated in Uganda, many in Kampala, some in the precincts uh, on the outskirts, others uh, a little bit of a distance from Kampala, 60, 70 Ks. But nevertheless, uh, I th thought that this is a great opportunity to maybe use this as an occasion to introduce these sheikhs and these imams to the wider public. Many people have had the honor of meeting the sheikhs, people in Venda, in the northern province, in Polokwani, in Pumalanga, in KwaZulu-Natal, in the Cape province, in the northwest, even in Botswana and Swaziland. And uh, normally, under normal circumstances, when you come to an occasion uh, such as this or any other occasion, you find that the vote of thanks comes towards the latter part or the end of proceedings. I can't understand why, because in my opinion, the vote of thanks is one of the most important aspects of any occasion. So I'll take advantage of this situation and do away with tradition and I'll start off with the vote of thanks. Of course, our thanks and appreciation goes out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And secondly, to the Islamic Council of South Africa for enabling all these collectors from Uganda by giving them letters of references, vetting them, and then allowing them to collect for the different centers. And of course, the greater public out there, the donors who have donated so generously uh, to this particular centers, because without your donations, uh, I don't believe that we could have reached this particular stage, and we will talk about this as we go along. And of course, my sincere thanks also to the imams and sheikhs for taking time off from their families, uh, leaving their country, coming to South Africa and collecting uh, for the particular centers. First up, I'd like to introduce Sheikh Magezi, Abdul Majid Magezi, being the senior uh, amongst all the uh, sheikhs that are doing their rounds. And I've, Sheikh, I've known you for the past five or six years. Uh, it, it's been my honor and my privilege uh, to, to have known you, of course, and inshallah, we'll try and keep this bond going till Allah decides who goes first. Uh, I understand that uh, you have, uh, you're a graduate from the University of Baghdad. Prior to that, you were in Ambar uh, province where you graduated at the Islamic school as well. 
you have a masjid which still needs to be completed. Alhamdulillah, people have donated generously and it's, it's more or less complete. Uh, when I say complete, it still doesn't have windows and maybe doors, it doesn't have electricity, running water and things like that. And all these things are basic needs that we all need and most of the masjids and centers in Uganda yeah. don't have basic needs yeah. but alhamdulillah you have a nice yeah. big uh, building standing which uses which uses a masjid yeah. it serves a whole community there you have uh, close on to five classrooms yeah. I know your target is about nine to twelve classrooms because you have hundreds of children yeah. that are thirsting for education tell us a little bit about yourself and your center uh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name, as a brother KK said, told you, my name is Sheikh Abdul Majid Magezi. Uh, now, I'm director of Nyanja Islamic Center. We started that Islamic Center in 19, in 19, 19 something. But we have been struggling to complete this masjid. By wishes of Allah, when I came here, I, collect, I came here to the Islamic Council of South Africa. They helped us. They gave us uh, facilities. Especially our masjid was, uh, uh, was uh, lacking with the iron seats. But by wishes of Allah, they sent it. Now, alhamdulillah, Masjid did many some things, but now the more, more important uh, our need is conduct, uh, contacting with the madrasa, as he told you, alhamdulillah. We wish to, I have 200 children, there are, some of them they have been studying outside, but now three classrooms, we fix them there, the inside. So currently, Sheikh, your, your immediate need is to build an additional three or four classrooms. Yeah. And of course, you, you also need a borehole. Yeah so that you, can, you can't survive without yeah, water. Yeah. And you have many children yeah. coming in every day yeah. to, to study, yeah. for, to madrasa, for school. Uh, and of course, uh, inshallah, you're going back very soon. Yeah. And you've raised a little bit of money, but we will see you inshallah next year. And there are people that have pledged uh, Brother Ismail Kala, the Vice President of, yeah. uh, of IXA, yeah. has, has done uh, some excellent work in appreciating your role yeah. and the role of other sheikhs yeah. and, and the need for all the other yeah. centers. Inshallah. Jazakallah for coming Jazakallah. and Jazakallah for talking to yes, us. Yes, yeah. And then Inshallah we'll meet again yeah, sometime sure. when you're on your return. Thank you so much. Okay. Assalamu wa barakatuh. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother Farooq. Uh, wa alaikum salam. Welcome to salam. ITV. Uh, you have been on a collection drive. Uh, I understand that uh, it's been relatively successful. And uh, I know the need is great. You need a lot of funds. Everybody needs a lot of funds. Uh, however, you have managed to raise uh, a few rands. And uh, please tell us about your center, which is your center, and, and what are your, uh, your immediate requirements? Mm. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sheikh Kayongo Farouk from Chengeza Muslim Organization. Our immediate problem we had is for the masjid. But mashallah, due to the support we have got from some brothers, our masjid is just left with the roofing and the cementing the masjid plus the painting. And also putting there a borehole which will support on the issue of the Wudukana because we have less water in our village. Mm -hmm. And mashallah for some additions, for addition of classrooms about four or five inshallah how many how many people do you teach how many young children do you have at your center we've got 315 children yeah do they live on the center or do they come in daily half of it come daily and half of it live in the centers and just for the viewers to understand this how many meals a day do you expect them to, or do you give them we give them three meals a day you give them three meals you manage that yeah, most in the morning we managed to give them at least porridge yes. to go. In the evening, afternoon, around afternoon, we give them some pap and beans, and late at night when in the evening. And how do you manage to sustain yourself throughout the year when you are not out in South Africa collecting? How do you manage to do that? 
we get some, we have some farming programs we, go, we carry on, and also we are having poultry. Mashallah. So we raise some eggs, we sell in the market, so they bring back to the project. Mashallah. So that not every year we have to go out for the collection drive. Alhamdulillah, because to be self-sufficient, I think is the uh, target that everybody needs to, to look towards. Brother Farooq, uh, Jazakallah for sharing your thoughts with us. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Musa Harun. Welcome to ITV. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh, tell us a little bit about your center. Give us the name where you, uh, you are situated and, and what, what are you currently, which projects are you currently busy with? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amma abad. Uh, praise be to Allah the Creator. Peace and blessing be to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, first of all, I would like to appreciate uh, this wonderful program the Islamic Council is doing in Uganda. Uh, wallahi, we are really very appreciative. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you, brother Keke Kruta. It's, and it's a collective uh, effort. It's everybody from the Islamic Council of South Africa, people like brother Ismail Kala, the vice president. Also remember that um, uh, Hafiz advocate Nurbai has been very instrumental in this, in bringing the, pe uh, the people to, to us, introducing them to us. And of course, without the support of the donors in South Africa, nothing can really happen. So we, are, we, we have to acknowledge the role of many people. It is not one person yeah. or two, yeah. but it's no. a collective, Brother Fahim. Alhamdulillah. Like you said, I'm Sheikh Musa Haruna Chimala from Nusula Islamic Primary School and the center generally is uh, located in Malubia, Buike district, Uganda. Alhamdulillah, at our center, we, we completed our masjid. It's very, okay, very wonderful through your support. And then currently, we are on different projects which we are running. Yeah. The construction of the classroom, we started with the foundation for two classrooms. And then at the same time, we also, like uh, as a center, because we find it very difficult every year, time coming for collection is very hard it is through coming. Yes. Now we started some projects like uh, the farming, the chicken, yeah. and layering of eggs. And then also, uh, currently, as we want to complete the classrooms, but at the same time, we are collecting for the tractor. And I understand that you have uh, solar power for electricity. Alhamdulillah, through your support, brother, brother Eke, Kulta, and then I can't forget our brother, who is the leader of, uh, from Uganda, Brother Abdul Hai. Yes. He did a wonderful work because through him, he introduced us to Islamic Council, what the, the work you are doing. We got the solar panel. You know, in let me talk about Buikwe. Buikwe is one of the poorest districts yes. in Uganda. Yes. Uh, as the whole district, we don't have electricity, okay. but we, in the masjid, we've managed to make talawa because we get the solar. solar it's power. only our center, Masha the Nusula center, which we have having light in mashallah uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and then inshallah we appeal inshallah to continue for this generous work we are doing allah reward you fiduna al allah reward all of you Allahumma thank amin. you for sharing in jazakallah khair in inshallah fi imanillah my next guest is uh, imam yusuf semakate of the bulwada islamic center and uh, i understand uh, sheikh yusuf that uh, you also ha have annual Islamic awards where you invite uh, Muslims uh, to your center and you present uh, people that have achieved certain milestones, uh, whether it be social or economic or educational, you present them with awards. Tell us a little bit about this. I find very interesting. Well, um, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, well, about uh, this uh, Islamic event or annual event, actually we sat down and few ulama from uh, Uganda. We have seen how divided uh, Islam has been uh, f uh, from the ground and up. Uh, we decided to bring up or to come up with something that can unite us. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually, for the first time, uh, I think in Islamic history, to have such an event. 
uh, as uh, in Uganda. In Uganda. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the whole world, I haven't heard about it anywhere. Uh, I don't know about, <laughs> maybe it has been here already yes, in yeah. South Africa, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, it has been welcomed, and uh, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, ICSA who uh, have been putting and advising us and uh, encouraging us to go on with the event. Mm -hmm. And actually, we are expecting it this year as well. Mm -hmm. And we are looking towards uh, to you, uh, brothers from South Africa, to see to it that it happens this year as sure. well. Sure. And uh, we, are, we don't have any sector of uh, Tabliri, Sunni. Uh, we, as long as you have one, one united forum. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah. Thanks so much. Thanks for sharing that with us. It's Allah much appreciated and may Allah give you all the success that Allah you deserve. Jazakallah. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa It is now time for a break. Please stay tuned. Alayhi wa sallimu taslima hatta tanalu jannatan wa na'ima sallu alayhi. صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما حتى تنالوا جنة ونعيما صلوا عليه وسلموا Welcome back. Assalamu alaikum. Sister Mariam, welcome to ITV. Uh, Sister Mariam, you are the uh, coordinator for Heart of Muslim Mothers, which is a orphanage in Uganda. Tell us a little bit about uh, your center. Okay, Heart of Muslim Mothers is represented by th five mothers, three Ugandans, two Malaysians. Two Malaysians as well. Yeah. Mashallah. So are they at the center? Or no, they, are they, they in Malaysia? They are in Malaysia. Mm, but you have uh, a support system. Yes. So we look after 200 kids, mm -hmm. 50 young ones. Are they all orphans? Yeah. And your youngest is how old? Three years. Three years. Yeah, but we manage to feed them through your organization, the donation we get from South Africa mm -hmm. and some from Malaysia. Yes. And we have our farm also, so we have to feed them like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But our problem is school fees and then the classrooms, we don't have them. So you need to build some classrooms. Yeah. So is that your immediate need? That's what we the, need. The building, uh, the erecting building of, of, of classrooms. Of classrooms. As far as food uh, and, and, and the other requirements, accommodation, you have all that? We have somehow, but the classroom are the immediate effect. Immediate need? Yeah. Okay, no. But I, I, I think you had a successful uh, collection drive or? It was not so successful, but... But inshallah, yes, we have yeah, you on we our will. records. We will be sending a representative to visit your center once again. Yeah. And inshallah, we'll try and assist you wherever we can. We Jazakallah for coming on to the program. Thank you very much. And assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Imam Abdul Subur. Welcome to ITV. Please uh, introduce yourself to the viewers and tell us a little bit about, about your center. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-masaleen Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah um, Brother Abdul Sabur Senyange From Imran Islamic and Memorial School That center was started way back When my father completed his studies in Cairo Alhamdulillah we had a land, my grandfather had a land, but we had no facilities, we had no sponsorship mm -hmm. to put up uh, the, the, a madrasa. Mm -hmm. Yet in the area, we had a need. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, my father came, he met uh, brother Abdul Hai, who introduced him to the Islamic Council. I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving the brothers uh, from Islamic Council the strength to, to help us uh, up to the level where we are now. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, we've started the, the, the construction of the, the masjid and uh, it is still incomplete. Mm -hmm. uh, we are humbly still uh, in need of your support mm -hmm. and uh, inshallah, as you, you, you've been carrying on, Allah accept inshallah, Fi dunya wal akhirati. 
Naam. Amin. Jazakallah. Thank you for sharing with us. And inshallah, we will uh, encourage all the people to contribute towards the center. And inshallah, down the line, we'll get it done. Barakallah. Allah willing. Barakallah. Jazakallah for coming on. Barakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Uh, Sheikh uh, Ismail Kezala, a young man and an imam of the uh, Kalaji Islamic Center. Please tell us a little bit about your center. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Sheikh Ismail Kezala. I'm here on the behalf of Kalaji Islamic Orphanage Center. I was sent here on the behalf of my old father who used to come here old in 2008, 2007. He came to Brother Kike Kulta in 2007 when he came up on the support about our center. We had nothing on our center by the time he came here because we only had the classrooms, three of them, with wood. We didn't have masjid. We were making namaz from the tree. But alhamdulillah, since we managed to come this side to the Islamic Council when Brother Abdul Hai brought us this side, alhamdulillah, now we are trying to set up our masjid, whereby now we are still short to complete a masjid, they will put in windows, put in doors, mm -hmm. and the plastering. But people are making salat already. People masjid. are making salat inside there. Alhamdulillah. And how but many classrooms do you have? We only got four classrooms, yeah. and they are about also to complete. They need to put the plastering inside and to put the loaf. Yes. But from the funds we managed to collect this this year from yeah. the Ramadan, from our brothers, we have managed to collect some of the money so that we have to go put the roof for the classrooms. Inshallah. And inshallah, but that's how he promised, whenever the, the coming of the next year, he will put we'll the roof for us. complete your center, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakallah for sharing with us. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother Abdul Hay Indiwalana. You know, I, uh, welcome to ITV. I, some of these names are tongue twisters, uh, brother Abdul Hay. So I can just call you Abdul Hay Nadiwala, if, they view, if you don't take offense at that. If you don't mind. Now, Brother Abdul Hay is the, the national coordinator for all the centers and the sheikhs that come from Uganda. He's the man that's instrumental in vetting all the centers, giving them the green light, the OK, to say that these are legitimate centers. He's, recently, he was in Uganda during the month of Ramadan as well. Uh, he went to investigate a number of centers. So I'd like to thank you for all the time. I know you've spent your own monies as well and all the effort that you've put in this uh, brother Abdul Hay and uh, for doing such uh, excellent work. This is the work of Dean. This is the work of Dawa. I think whilst I'm with you, let me just say that uh, we know that there are plus minus, in fact, not minus, in excess of 300 centers and masjids, or, or so-called masjids, some are just wooden structures, some are under the trees. Some children learn, many learn, children learn under the trees, under the open skies. Uh, many people don't have access to, to, to food, three meals a day. We are fortunate that we have centers that have been established. How many centers, in your opinion, uh, through our communication and our contacts and uh, our assistance, from South Africa, have we managed to put up uh, to a level where which we can label them centers? How many do you think they are? Uh, no, Alhamdulillah, We managed to put up in Uganda uh, like uh, 17 centers in Uganda. The one, the one complete, like Kaukab, like uh, Kofis, the one you know, everyone, the one you know. Uh, we got Dakwa also complete, inshallah. We got a lot of. Uh, d just on, on the issue of Dakwa, mm. we have uh, Dr. Dr. Suwedi. Suwedi, we've uh, uh, managed to secure an ambulance for him, yeah, yeah. Uh, which he uses to ferry uh, to ill ferry. patients to major hospitals. Okay, yeah. He's got a semi clinic there. Yeah. Uh, we've given them some trucks yeah. to sustain awesome. the center. Yeah. Uh, we don't have much time. Yeah. However, a lot of work has been done in Uganda. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is that 
a lot more needs to be done. Yeah, we know that uh, through the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a resurgence. Yeah. People are coming into the fall of Islam in their thousands. Yeah. Many people were lost to the deen yeah. because of poverty and, and the need for sustenance, for education, yeah. and people go out of the fold. But alhamdulillah, Allah works in mysterious ways and people have come back. Yes. And thousands, and they're bringing thousands more, more with more, them. More, yeah. So they, it's, it's exciting what's happening in Uganda. And I think all the sheikhs, all the imams, mm -hmm. and this great partnership of all the Muslims in South Africa is making this possible. Jazakallah Abdullah for sharing with us your thoughts on ITV. You know, this is, I think, an appeal from the heart from all the sheikhs, if I may speak on their behalf, that there is a dire need for your continued assistance. Your generosity is exemplary. I'm speaking to all the viewers out there, and it is much appreciated. Through the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a total resurgence of the deen in Islam, the work of dawah, and thousands are coming into the fold, and the need is ever so great. We need to complete masjids, we need to complete boreholes, we need to provide the necessary education. We are embarking on a project for a secondary school that is priority. If you want to contribute, you will see the details on the TV screen. Please give us a call, make your pledge. Any and every assistance is appreciated. Jazakallah so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. وسلموا تسليما حتى تنالوا جنة ونعيما صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما حتى تنالوا جنة ونعيما صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما حتى تنالوا جنة ونعيما صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما حتى تنالوا جنة ونعيما صلوا عليه